Welcome to not best of the locker room, but best of the pressers, the coordinator pressers to be exact. And we'll start with Joe Barry talking about eight number one draft choices and the high expectations that go with them. What if we just had a, a roster full of seventh round draft picks? Would expectations not be high? About not only the National Football League, but being at the Green Bay Packers, expectations are high all the time, no matter what. To Adam Stenovich on the Jordan Love he's gotten to know over the past three years. Very humble, very hungry. He's got a great personality, always has a smile on his face. Um, just a great worker, good person. So it's, it's fun to be around him. It's fun to coach him because you know he's a very even-tempered even personality that, uh, you know, I think just always has a good positive outlook. And finally, Rich Basaccia on another head coaching opportunity that may or may not come. I kind of live in this microscope, telescope kind of world where, you know, 98% of my day is in the microscope. It's the task at hand. And then maybe there's 2% somewhere during the course of a day. You think about, you know, where are you going and, and maybe what's next. Or, but I don't spend much time in it. I rarely look in the rearview mirror. I'm really just trying to concentrate on the task at hand, what my job is now. How can I get a little bit better as a coach? How can we get our players a little bit better, put them in position um, to where they can be successful individually and then we can be successful collectively. I think the, the number one job of an assistant coach is to come to work every day and honor the hopes and dreams of our players.